What do you want? Something cool. Something outside. What is that? Wait. You have to be specific. You, you, you can't just drift. What? Lee, a reporter, quits her job in New York and returns to the place she last felt happy, her former high school. She starts her job as a lifeguard assisting kids in the pool. Against her will, she finds herself attracted towards a troubled teenager. She can no longer hide her feelings for him. What will this newfound infatuation lead to? How far will this infatuation really go? But before we begin, please consider subscribing to our channel. Lee London is a writer living in New York City with a job as a journalist and a relationship with her engaged boss. At the beginning of the story, Lee must accept the end of her love affair and is tasked with reporting the story of a tiger cub who was kept tied up as a pet in someone's home until it died. To Lee's astonishment, the piece isn't run as serious news and she breaks down arguing with her boss and ex-lover. Now entirely disillusioned with her life in the city, she decides to leave without notifying her job and return to her hometown. When she arrives at home, Lee's mother questions her sudden return. Meanwhile, her father is delighted to see her, especially after Lee announces her decision to stay indefinitely. She becomes reacquainted with two of her former friends, art appraiser Todd and vice principal Mel. While having some drinks with them, she announces that she is taken up her high school job as the community pool lifeguard, where she meets the maintenance man's son, little Jason. Over the next few weeks, she becomes friends with Jason and his best friend Matt and encourages wild behavior on her two high school friends, hanging out with the teens in smoking pot. Todd happily goes along with Lee's behavior while Mel does too. It takes its toll on her relationship with her husband as they are trying to conceive a baby. Lee begins to spend a lot more time with Jason and soon she realizes her attraction to him and vice versa. One night after hanging out at the pool after hours with their friends, Lee goes to the bathroom where Jason follows her. Matt has been kicked out by his mother and has made it clear that he is desperate to leave town. After Jason postpones the plans, Matt becomes very disheartened. Meanwhile, Mel's husband becomes increasingly frustrated with her carefree behavior. While at the pool one morning, Todd discovers Lee and Jason kissing but does not say anything. Lee's mother asked her to move out as she isn't the only one trying to get their life in order. Lee stays with Jason. Her cat goes missing in the process. Todd lets it slip to Mel that Lee is staying at Jason's and Mel discovers that the relationship they have between the two. To her horror, she approaches Lee in anger and plans to inform Jason's father. Lee and Jason then go searching for the cat, only to discover Matt has committed suicide by hanging himself from a tree in the woods. Matt repeatedly mentions throughout the movie that he hates life in the town and is desperate to go to Vermont. It seems Jason's postponed was his last bit of hope broken. This takes its toll on Jason very hard and he is deeply distraught. Lee takes the responsibility to inform Matt's mother, who is also heartbroken at the news. Lee consoles her until her relatives arrive and then later finds her missing cat hiding near her parents' house. At the funeral, she takes her peace with Mel and goes to meet Jason one last time before they both leave. They share an emotional hug, both showing a strong affection for one another. She gives him $1,000 she won from a journalist prize and walks away with tears in her eyes, knowing that her feelings for Jason could never truly be acted upon. The final scene ends with a postcard from Jason, stating that he still thinks about her a lot and Matt also. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comment section below which movie you want us to recap next. As always, until the next time.